Hi, I'm Dr. Prashant Chaudhary, the head of Department of Ophthalmology and also I'm heading the Refractive Division at Akash Healthcare. Um, I can see that you are interested in knowing more about how laser gets rid of your glasses and today this, in this video I'll be dealing in detail on the different types of laser procedures for removal of glasses and at the end of it you should be able to make more sense of the different terms that you hear and make a choice of what is the best technique for yourself. So the first thing that we need to understand is that laser works on the first part of the eye which we call the cornea. Now the cornea consists of many layers and the topmost layer which is called the epithelium is a transient layer. It is just like the first part of the skin every four or five days it is shed off and you get a new layer. So this part of the cornea cannot be treated. Obviously you won't want to try treat a transient layer. So the first thing that needs to be done is the deeper layers of the cornea should be exposed and the treatment should be done. So this takes us to the first technique that we do that is called the PRK. So first we will discuss about the PRK. The PRK was in fact the first laser technique that was invented and as we have discussed the top layer of the cornea is transient and we do not want to laser that. So in this we are very simply removing the top layer of the cornea, the epithelium and doing the laser on the permanent layer of the cornea. We have put some alcohol to loosen the epithelium. The epithelium is removed in the central 8 mm zone and following this a gentle laser, a cold laser is fired on the surface of the cornea. This changes the shape of the cornea to a shape which is more harmonious for your eye, does not require any glasses in the future and a contact lens is placed at the end of the procedure. Within 5 days the epithelium regrows under the contact lens and the contact lens is removed. Now PRK has some inherent disadvantages, one of which is that the first 2 days after PRK the eye is in quite a lot of pain and secondly it takes for a week for the epithelium layer to heal so you should be ready to give a week off from work. Uh, also clear vision can take up to 3 months to come. So to get rid of these disadvantages the next technique came which is LASIK. Here you can see that we are making a flap of the cornea so that the smooth epithelial layer is not disturbed. A blade assembly is creating this flap with a hinge left there. Then the hinge is lifted off, the flap is lifted and the surface of the layer, the surface of the cornea which is permanent is exposed. Laser is done on this, the flap is repositioned and from the next day itself you get clear vision unlike PRK. But since we have cut the cornea, we are using more of corneal tissue. As a result for thin corneas, this is not the best technique. Uh, this has the advantages of having very quick rehabilitation. From the next day you can see everything. But because of the flap, there are some disadvantages which will just come into. So as you can see, LASIK does not disturb the front layer of the cornea. And because of this, from the next day after surgery itself, you have very good vision after LASIK, which is a very big advantage. But since we are creating a flap, we are actually cutting part of the cornea and with that the nerves that innervate the center cornea are cut. This can lead to uh, some amount of dryness which can last from 1 to 6 months post the procedure. And also when you do a LASIK from the conventional blade technique, the blade sometimes cuts the hinge completely leaving a free cap. Sometimes it makes a small hole in the center button holding. So there are a number of blade related complications which are also there. So as an advancement of this LASIK, we have uh, been doing the femtosecond assisted which is a blade free LASIK since the last few years. A femtosecond technique was created. In this technique, to make the flap, we will not use a blade. We will use a different kind of a laser called femtosecond laser which is creating a cut in the cornea and fashioning out the flap. Here you can see the side cut of the flap is being created and the flap can be raised. The flap created by a laser is definitely much more controlled, there are no chances of a complication and it is a stable flap compared to a blade flap. The rest of the procedure stays the same. The eczema laser is now treating the power, changing the shape of the cornea to match what you should have and the flap is replaced. The disadvantages like we discussed of a flap remain the same for this and a blade flap classic. So now we come to the latest generation of LASIK. The first generation was PRK 
the second generation was LASIK and now we have come to the latest generation which is SMILE. So SMILE has been here since the last 8 to 10 years and it is a completely flapless technique. It is bladeless, flapless and painless. We will just see how SMILE works. So the dryness that we see, the complications related to a flap, the chance of it being dehyced, all those complications are not there. So what this is actually doing is it is creating some cuts within the cornea without creating any side cut which fashions a lenticule within the cornea. This lenticule is removed from a small side cut and because the lenticule is a convex shape, once we remove it, the cornea flattens out. You can observe that the cut here is 2 mm vis a vis 20 mm which we had for elastic. Because of this, this technique has been shown to have less of dryness, more stability, more strength of the cornea and very good visual results. Every cut is going to induce some aberrations, imperfections in the eye which are not induced in a smile. So all these three techniques are very efficient and very effective in removing glasses but till the age of 40 because after the age of 40 you require glasses for distance but also for near and if you want to get rid of glasses both for distance and for near you will require an, uh, a more latest technology it's called Press Beyond. Press Beyond is the most successful technology for laser collection of distance and near both, which we call Press Biopia in the whole world. So we are one of the very few centers which are offering this technology and the results are very gratifying. Essentially what we do in this is that we see both of our eyes are different. One is stronger than the other. The stronger eye is called dominant, the slightly weaker eye is non-dominant. So the stronger eye is optimized for the whole of distance correction and intermediate. The non-dominant eye is it optimized for the whole of intermediate and near. And with both eyes together, you have a complete range of vision from distance to the nearest. You will be able to read the finest letter and see far off. So this technology, Press Beyond technology, uh, is revolutionary, but the age of 42 to 56 is usually the age which accepts it the most and which benefits from this the most. After this, obviously, cataracts start and we can go on to different techniques to remove glasses at that age. So to conclude, SMILE is the most advanced of the technologies. Because of a small cut, you have better stability of vision, better lesser dryness, uh, better clarity. It is FD approved and uh, the only drawback of SMILE is that it can be used only for minus powers and for cylindrical powers. If you have a plus power, SMILE will not actually be an option for you right now because hypermetropia is still not optimized for SMILE. And SMILE is not available widely as of now because it is an expensive technology. In West Delhi and Gurgaon, Akash Eye Care is the only place which is offering SMILE. So at Akash Eye Care, we follow the world's most stringent quality norms in line with NABH, with JCI and in fact we are in the process of getting the accreditations from these quality institutions. These mean that we use uh, the best practices when it comes to not reusing consumables, to following processes which are foolproof so that we never have any errors, the wrong patient is treated or the wrong eye is treated, that is not possible with these processes which are being followed and also the whole system moves in a way which is uh, extremely clean, extremely reliable and reproducible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this video has enhanced your knowledge about what these process, uh, what these techniques are and will help you in making the right decision for your own eyes. Bye-bye.